Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Mackenzie Football. This week I want to talk about tripods. Now tripods I am not a huge fan of. Unfortunately they are a necessity in photography that I've found so I have over the years had many, got rid of many and at the moment I have a few tripods that I'm using. Um, one that I thought would come in useful that I barely ever use was the Gorilla Grip. Um, I changed the handle into a small rig head, but um, yeah, I've barely ever used this since I got it. So I found that to be a complete waste of money. That's my opinion on the Gorilla Grips. Some people find them extremely useful. Me personally, not so much. Um, and then to the Mercedes of tripods, Manfrotto. Now I had um, about 15 years ago bought the older version this, the 055. Um, I've never been able to afford the carbon fibre so this is just the aluminium one but I've got the pro ball head on it and I've got the arc swish plate attachment from my photo for that ball head because um, with me also getting the peak design clip on my bag it's better to be using all the one system so you don't have to change the plate on all your tripods um, this is a beast but it's far too heavy to carry up hills or just carry about in general I find this one weighs far too much which leads me to the reason of this week's video I've recently seen a few videos on the KNF, the Ken Faith concept brand. I've seen a lot of people sort of getting the tripods for free. Obviously, I am nowhere near getting anything for free. Unless someone sees this and wants to send me something for free, I would really appreciate it. But I actually went out and bought the, whatever this one's called, it's the KF SA255. C1. C1 stands for the carbon fibre. Now it isn't a heavy duty carbon fibre one that holds up to 20 kilograms. This one holds up I think to about 8 or 10, which is fine for most things. Um, and although it being one of probably I think the biggest carbon fibre one they sell, it's still nice enough to be this, the lightness and size of a travel tripod. Um, it does actually fold completely the way around, so you can have the head if I can actually get around to folding it. I apologize for this, ladies and gentlemen. The locks are pretty good and the center column slides down, so it's a very, very small package. Now, with this, you also get a nice little bag. You also get a couple of plates. You get a plate for holding a mobile phone. Again, that's already tucked into a drawer, never used, same with the actual original plate that came with us because I've got the Peak Design one on my camera at the moment um, so yeah this little tripod is actually the one I'm going to be carrying about most of the time and um, I am thinking about getting maybe something for the bottom to weigh it down because it is extremely light um, but it does extend up to a decent height the the one thing that I was um, quite stunned about was um, the center column does a lot of the height the legs don't go don't go that far up I mean I can extend them out here if if will allow me so that's one leg fully extended all right so I'm just gonna set this down this is me sitting down on a couch okay and you can see with one leg fully extended fully upright it only reaches just above my head level with me sitting down. I think this extends to I think 167 centimeters so a lot of that top distance is a center column which to me with the camera that I use is a lot of top heavy weight. I would much rather it be the legs extend further for the weight to be less on the center column. Um, but that's my personal opinion. Um, you cannot beat the value for money this was. For carbon fibre, I paid with a discount code, I think £89. Uh, so that's great, 
it's British pounds, 89 pound, which I think will work out to just over a hundred dollars or something for a carbon fiber tripod, which comes with a nice little ball head and it is a nice little ball head. It's, it is sturdy. I've tried to move it around and stuff just to see that it'll hold the weight. And this is it locked up and I can just barely, barely move it and I'm really pushing against it there. Not gonna do that too much in case I break it. But again, it, it does work with the Arc Swiss plates, which most other other um, tripod brands, apart from uh, Manfrotto, I can't really name any others, go with is the Arc Swiss plate. Um, so that is my tripod setup at the moment. So yeah, it was just basically a small little video on my thoughts on this tripod. I think it's a fantastic little attachment, a little, um, thing to carry around it's going to help me out a whole lot mainly because of the weight the weight it weighs i think just over two kilograms whereas this which was my main tripod before the manfrotto 005 pro b i don't actually know the weight of it but it's probably more than double the weight of this little one and they reach up to the same height again this one I find could be a little bit top heavy, so I may lose some height because I, I wouldn't feel comfortable extending the center column all the way out with the camera that I use on it, which is the Fuji GFX 100S. Um, it's not so much a heavy camera body itself, it's pretty much a standard DSLR weight. It's the lens that come with it. Now the 45 to 100, which I'll show you here, it's a big lens. So to put that weight on the top of this, it, and it, if it was a little bit windy, I wouldn't feel comfortable at all. But as I say, if I'm just using the legs like that and pointing them down rather than extending the center column, I'm actually okay. I'm actually okay with it. Um, so yeah, if you are fortunate enough to be a YouTuber and KF reach out to you to offer you one of these, take it. It's a lovely little tripod. Um, unfortunately, I'm not big enough to get stuff for free, as I say, but if KF ever do want to get in touch and they would like to start sending me stuff like this carbon fiber tripod to review, I would happily take that. Again, this isn't sponsored in any way. I am nowhere near big enough to be sponsored yet. But I just wanted to say that this is an absolutely fantastic little piece of kit. And also, it's got a party piece where you can, the leg with the foam, you can unscrew and attach that to the center column to make a nice little monopod if you ever really use a monopod. I bought one years ago, never used it. Um, again, I try not to use tripods if I can get away with it, but when you do need to use it, this is gonna come in very handy. I'll be using this probably 99% of the time when I need to use a tripod rather than using anything else. If I'm in the studio, I'll use my own throw. Um, again, I don't have thousands and thousands of pounds to get carbon fiber this or one of the Manfrotto or uh, I can't even remember the other brands. The studio studio tripods that um, you could basically climb on. Unfortunately, it'll be possibly not in my lifetime or unless I win the lottery or something like that, that I'll be able to get start getting things like that. But yeah, this little tripod, absolutely amazing. And like, if you want, you can carry it about in the bag that comes with it. I don't deem that necessary myself. It's a tripod, it's gonna be hanging off the back of my camera bag getting bashed about. Hopefully it'll handle um, getting bashed about on the back of my camera bag. I imagine it will be in carbon fiber. It does feel strange, because this is my first one that's carbon fiber. Having something this light, it, it almost feels, I wouldn't say fragile. Um, it's just I'm not used to something being this light, because I've always worked with um, aluminium tripods. I've never had the advantage of getting a carbon fiber and I've always wanted one so took the plunge and very happy with it. That's the KF Concept 
SA255C1. Brilliant piece of kit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. And I'm gonna say to you, as I do at the end of every video, ladies and gentlemen, please check yourself um, regularly for any lumps and bumps. I have cancer. The last thing I would anyone want for any one of the viewers out there is to get cancer themselves so please check yourself for any new lumps or bumps if you find any go to the doctor if you're worried about something go to the doctor if you've been ill for a pretty long amount of time go to the doctor the doctor is there to help you please don't wait around and end up getting the worst diagnosis you could ever get so go and get yourself checked out for cancer um, as I said, I have cancer at the moment, I'm going through treatment, I'll be going in for surgery soon, um, all things going according to plan, and that should hopefully be me cancer free after maybe a couple of scans after the surgery. I'm really hoping that's the case because I have three young children and I also want to carry on making silly little YouTube videos and maybe entertaining a couple of people with them. Um, but if you want to support me, um, through my journey through cancer and, or support me with my YouTube channel, you can go to my website, www.mckenzie4.com, put it at the bottom of the screen there, and if on there you can have a look through some of my work, stuff that's been published, or you can go into my shop, which has got the print sale. It's also got apparel that says, fuck cancer, like my hat. There's also censored versions as well. What I will say is, um, if you do buy something, it does take a bit of time to come, because it's through, uh, some company that Squarespace use that these things get sent out. Um, but what I'll also give you is a discount code just now, Mackenzie Photo 10. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen so you can write that down and use it in the, in the shop. It's 10% across the entire store. Um, so hopefully, if you see something you like and you do want to get it, then there's a little discount there for you. I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.